It's hard to believe that right up until the 60s, surfers were braving even the coldest waves in nothing but a pair of togs. These days, wetsuits are a second skin for any serious surfer. Living in Victoria, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of warm water, so so having having a, a good wetsuit is is a must and so every surfer down here will generally have have a bunch of wetsuits there's just one problem neoprene the waterproof synthetic rubber that most wetsuits are made from is next to impossible to recycle being a surfer you do have a strong affinity with the environment and with your, with your local environment so doing a, a small thing to help reduce your negative impact on that environment and help keep our oceans cleaner is something that's really important. As one of the largest manufacturers of wetsuits in the world, Rip Curl have become increasingly aware of their environmental footprint. I think in particular in the last uh, decade the business has been on a journey to ensure that everything that we do within the business um, is more of a closed loop and more sustainable. And a lot of it's been driven by our consumers. Rip Curl's environmental social governance manager, Shasta O'Loughlin, has spent years searching for a way to keep customers' old wetsuits out of landfill. But until recently, nothing had stuck. Neoprene's a really hard material. You think someone surfs probably two to three years in the same suit, um, it's going in, in the ocean, which is, obviously has salt. Um, a lot of people weigh in their wetsuits, so it's con they're contaminated materials. So to try and find something that we can actually put it into is a challenge. Yes, it's been a holy grail of ours for many years. We've used the, um, the wetsuits for a range of things over the decades, including archery, butts, punching bags and the like, but we just had way too many wetsuits. It wasn't until last year that the company finally found a long-term solution by partnering up with international recycling company TerraCycle. Our core business and uh, what we're most known for is uh, the recycling program that we run for products that are typically not recyclable and uh, would go to landfill. Products like coffee capsules, toothbrushes and toothpaste tubes, razors, toys, you name it. Like There's so many of uh, them and now we are very proud to partner with Ripple to make wetsuits recyclable in Australia. Thanks to TerraCycle's unique global resources, all Australians can now bring in or mail old wetsuits of any brand to select Rip Curl stores, where they'll go on to serve a surprising new purpose. The second life essentially is child playground matting that you see in um, you know, various play parks. So it's not the top layer of the matting, it's not the coloured sort of nice um, matting that you see because wetsuits are all different colours um, so it's basically the underlay so sort of like carpet underlay um, that sits underneath and gives us that soft cushioning feel um, for, for safety if children fall down. When I first heard about the program I thought it, it was it's a great way to get surfers involved with you know reducing our impact on the environment you know obviously being a mum and and having kids and going to the playground the, the ones with the uh, softball matting are always uh, always a benefit so i think it's a it's a great way to 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 reuse something that would normally go to landfill the program itself has had such great response from our customers it feels really good to be able to deliver something that we're so passionate about. And now we want to expand globally. So I'm in discussions on a European and a US expansion on this. And I think that's what makes TerraCycle such a great partner because they do have that global uh, footprint. We need to change our mindset and, uh, and think that everything can be recycled. The question is like, who is willing to, 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 to pay for it and, uh, and run those, uh, those schemes? Um, and are we willing to innovate and look for local uh, companies that can take the material and turn it into something useful?